Hey Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading. If this is your first time here, my name is Laura and I'm from babycurltarot.com. Keep in mind this reading is for any Pisces placement you want to check in on, including any planet or astrological house that may be in Pisces, whatever it is, you're welcome here. Also keep in mind Pisces, if you do enjoy the message, please leave a like, a comment, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me in the future. All right, let's start off with the Moonology Oracle deck here in the center. It says, take time to breathe out disseminating moon. Okay. Hmm. All right, Pisces. Let's get into some of these other cards. This can literally mean anything. I'm not picking anything up yet, but let's get into these other ones. What do we have? Well, there you are, Pisces. Okay. Hmm. And we have Mars, the planet of action. Okay, I'm hearing some of you are feeling like you're trying to swim upstream and the current is too strong. Um, Mars in Pisces is a very difficult placement to have or, you know, be in the midst of when Mars does move into Pisces. Um, and that's what it kind of feels like. It's like you're struggling to get things done or you're struggling to feel motivated or you're struggling to just make things happen and i think the spirit is saying hey you're doing everything you can don't be so hard on yourselves take a breather every now and then okay um who else got a similar message to that i think maybe scorpio okay maybe if you have some significant scorpio placements and you want to check out that reading you're more than welcome to but this energy is very similar for me let's check out these last two cards we have shadow okay hmm what's this last one over here come here Ooh, the wildling okay uh-huh i see okay so one thing about Mars and Pisces, it is really good for kind of exploring things that we don't normally have in the forefront of our lives, right? So maybe there's like a hobby or an interest that you have really been interested in or have wanted to explore, try out, get involved in, okay? Um, Spirit is saying that you guys are in a place to go ahead and do that now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm getting kind of different messages. I'm gonna go ahead and just move on to the tarot and see what comes up and see if we can get a clearer picture of what this is. What this is. Um, spiritual team, what messages do you have for the Pisces Collective for the next seven days? What messages do you have for the Pisces Collective for the next seven days? Let's get into it. Okay, it's weird. Hmm. All right, let's get into these cards. We have the Knight of Wands reversed. Yeah, the Magician reversed. Okay, the Chariot. Judgment reversed. Three of Coins. What's at the bottom of the deck? We have the Fool. The Four of Swords. The Devil. Strength. And the Four of Coins. Okay. Very interesting. Um, I'm getting a lot of Mars retrograde energy with the Knight of Wands here in the reverse. Okay, Mars retrograde is coming up. I think it starts at the end of October. Some of you guys may be picking up on that a lot more than other signs right now because you guys are very in tune, um, spiritually speaking. And that's kind of why I'm getting this Mars and Pisces energy. Mars in Pisces feels very slow. Mars retrograde feels almost the exact same way. It almost feels um, counterproductive, <laughs> right? Which is, I mean, not exactly what I, I would associate Mars in Pisces with, but Mars in Pisces definitely likes to explore things it likes and doesn't necessarily care too much about duty. <laughs> Let's be real. Um, so I do feel like some of you guys could be picking up on Mars retrograde already and your natural instinct is to just focus on the things you actually like to do or want to do versus the things you have to do. Does that make sense? Um, which I do see here, especially with the fool underneath the Knight of Wands reversed. You're like, oh God, I just don't, 
I don't feel motivated to do anything. I just kind of want to do what I want to do. <laughs> Let's be real. <laughs> Let's be real. I, I'm distracted. I want to do something else, especially since Mars is in Gemini. Mars in Gemini gets really distracted very easily. So you guys are unmotivated. You're distracted. Um, so you guys want to, you know, venture out and try something new that maybe you've never tried or have wanted to try for a long time. You want to explore. Okay. I don't know. Get into cosplaying. Get into sewing, knitting, um, outdoor extreme sports. I don't know. Maybe you want to go water skiing for all I know. <laughs> um, take what resonates. Um, it possibly could be water skiing with the chariot card here. Honestly, you guys may have a thrill for, um, exciting or, risky activities. Okay. You guys have a need for speed. Maybe <laughs> I heard what's the point Mercury retrograde just ended, but we got Mars retrograde coming. I'm, I just, I don't feel like I'm going to be very productive. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and take a seat. <laughs> That's what it feels like it's saying. That's funny. Yeah. A lot of my Pisces feel like what is the actual point of trying to get anything done for the next couple of months? Hmm. Yeah, we did just have um, Mercury retrograde end on the second. <sighs> and then we have Mars happening. Mars retrograde happening at the end of the month. A lot of you guys are tired. A lot of you guys just need to recoup, honestly, and rest um, your mind a little bit. It feels like you guys have been going a million miles an hour. And that's what I was saying earlier. It feels like you guys have been swimming upstream against a really strong current. You guys have been really diligent, but let's face it, you guys are tired. You guys are really, really tired. And you just want to kind of indulge in something that you really like, that makes you feel good, that makes you feel like you're being productive, even though it's not something that is a priority. Does that make sense? I, I hope you guys are understanding what I'm saying. Um, but it makes you feel fulfilled and it makes you feel like you're having some fun despite all of the the madness that is happening. It's uh, This is an interesting reading, Pisces. I don't think I've had anything quite like this before. Yeah, Pisces, a lot of you guys have felt like you were stuck in a rut with this judgment card in the reverse here as well. And I think you guys need to, again, break your routine. The wildling here is saying exactly that. Like, just do something to help take your mind off of everything else you're doing because Mars in retrograde is going to be a difficult season for a lot of people, including you. So in order for you to not tire yourselves out, you need to find something that can give your mind some peace and some stimulation and some dopamine. Let's be real. Um, that is going to be what's keep what keeps you going. Okay, here in the chariot, you guys are going to be probably working hard anyways, but um, giving yourselves a break and really doing some self-care by doing something that makes you feel good about yourself or makes you feel happy is going to be the driving force behind keeping your energy levels up and your enthusiasm up for other areas of your life. Another thing you need to know about your work, you guys are good in terms of the four of coins and the three of coins. Okay, just remember that you are not the only person that is responsible for making shit happen at work. Okay, it is a team effort. It's a team for a reason. They're there to support you as you are there to support them. Okay, do not feel like you have to take on everything by yourself. If you need help, ask for help. Okay, but I do see you guys are very, very stable. So that is good to see there if you were wondering about that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the final deck of the reading. I am using the African Goddess Rising Oracle this month. Spiritual team, what messages do you have for the Pisces Collective for the next seven days? What messages do you have for the Pisces Collective for the next seven days? Let's see. What do we have? Kitesh, Sacred Lust. Okay, so yes, it does say lust. We do have a naked lady on this card, but I'm not necessarily equating this card for your reading with sex, desire, and all that stuff. It just feels like, and I don't know who else got this card and I got the same message for them. It's getting back in tune with your body. It's reconnecting, recentering with your body, your mind, keeping them aligned so you don't feel like you're losing your shit. 
ultimately, right? It's finding something that you like to enjoy. Maybe that is sex for some of you. Maybe you guys just, you know, need to spend more time with your spouse or your significant other. Um, but it feels like this is more of like a hobby situation for a lot of you guys. Just something that you can do to get you back in tune with your body. Because it feels like your mind is doing a lot of the work and your body is having a hard time keeping up. That's where I said having something like that for you guys during this period through the first couple weeks of the new year is going to be really important for you guys to keep your strength up and your endurance up with other areas of your life. So doing something that feels good to you, that nourishes your body, your health, your mind, your spirit is going to be really important, not just for this week, but I feel like for the next few months for you guys. All right, what else do we have? Jumbi masks. Ooh, okay. Again, um, what have you always wanted to explore? Okay, what is hiding beneath the shadows? What is hiding underneath the surface? Um, what can you explore to kind of get you out of your routine, your rut, whatever it is? Okay, I also feel like for a lot of you, you're gonna feel like you're gonna have a mask on for the next few months. Like, you, you guys are gonna. You guys are gonna be again you guys are gonna be hurting you're, you're gonna be maybe struggling a little bit um i don't wish that on anybody but the reality is mars and retrograde can be no joke so um just be prepared for that you're gonna probably be inside screaming your head off but um keeping a very strong presenting mask you know to the world to your job everybody saying it's okay we're doing great <laughs> good job team internally you cannot wait to go home and just either cry or curl up in bed with whatever it is that this hobby may be all right what's at the bottom of the deck we have oh yeah storms Let's see so again it feels like not just this week i think this is just the beginning of it for you guys honestly but it feels like this next period of Mars retrograde is really going to be a test of, again, not only your physical strength, but your mental strength, your spiritual strength. These are meant to make you stronger. This is meant to teach you probably how to keep that balance within yourself um, through future storms, but I feel like this is going to be a really big period for a lot of my Pisces watching. All right, Pisces, that's what I see for you guys. Please leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed the reading. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. If you want to see more content from me, I am on Instagram, TikTok, I have a blog. All that info and where to find me is below in the description box, as is my website if you want to schedule a personal reading with me. As always, though, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!